number two, Courtney Conlog from Santa Ana, California, taking on Bianca Betendak, an amazing South African surfer, former Rookie of the Year, fighting for her spot on tour in 2017. And now this one's already getting started. Conlog trying to get a big opening score. She'll get dropped off through the inside corner. And Betendag already out the back. Looks like she got a quick one during the break. You know, when you look at all the stats, it's, uh, it's almost a no-brainer that Courtney's going to walk away with it. But surfing is a funny sport, Joe. It's a, it's a changing playing field. And this is what happened to kick things off. Bianca up and riding on her backhand. So it's going to be a little trickier for her to fit these turns in and get that uh, variety of repertoire. Just not sticking that right there. But I'll tell you what, she's been looking for the, the set, set waves. She's been playing the patient game. And Courtney... On her forehand, probably one of the most powerful surfers on tour. And that's why right there, just that quick jam in the pocket. Obviously that wave not producing that inside. So there's the role for Bianca to try to qualify. And then if she does take that last spot, Laura Enover will fall off to number 11 in the world. Con log up now. First wave, 293. And that'll be a, another second scoring ride for Con log to build on her lead out front. Probably one of her weapons of choice. Going for broke on this first turn, realizing there wasn't a lot on offer through that inside bowl. So Bianca just pushing a little bit too hard. And that's kind of the danger today. The wave doesn't produce a lot of power, so it's so easy to overpower it. Courtney, uh, there again, you've got to kind of be a little bit lighter on your feet. When you produce those turns, you know, you've got to make sure you do it in such a place where the wave will give... Uh, a little bit of uh, resistance, but on that occasion for Bianca going out the back and Courtney tiptoeing through her one to a 3.23, so... Yeah, she lets that first one go. And that gives the opportunity for Conlog to take this wave under priority. Throws it vertical with the tail slide. Controlled cutback, setting up a little more on the inside corner. And just keeping it nice and easy through the last point. Little off the top and she's out. Bait and Dog picks the wave she was waiting for. Forces a car, runs out of room and has to get out. We'll see if she had anything before that after a short ride as we take another look. Yeah, I think from the get-go, Bianca just a little bit, timing was a little bit off. She knew that, so kicked straight on out, which was a smart move. 23 minutes remaining. This was Courtney's uh, roll of the dice. Nice opening turn there, just getting that nice sort of free, free flowing drift. And then looking for that bonus inside bowl, which uh, is where you just add those couple of extra points to the ride. Courtney looking to replace the 2.93. I think she's going to do that, extend her lead just a little bit. Got the lead back to earn a spot into finals day and a chance to requalify for next season. The South African already up and swinging off the top. A couple of big moves. Oh. Squares up vertically and room to move. Coils up and jams it a few more times. Betendach on a roll, and she will finish with a solid number. She found it right there. You know, first when she connects to that first turn, Joe, a lot of amazing turns uh, follow that. Conlog to answer. Setup work off the top. Nice vertical punch out right in the lip. Squares up for a little power gouge, and she'll foam climb the finish. A really shallow section on the Kiki Bowl. Really great surfing from Bianca. Let me tell you, that was just amazing. Strider, you're a goofy foot yourself. She had a lot of big major hooks to start. What about the finish when she's starting to run out of room? Well, she did squeeze in three extras on the inside. I was really impressed with how many times she, or how much work she got done inside there. With that said, now it's going to become uh, the waiting game towards the end of the heat. The last heat we saw with Coco was kind of the same where she really needed a score. Doing amazing work to get an 8.0 and to take the lead off Conlog as we check out Courtney's form here, Potts. Yeah, you know, just two different approaches. Uh, you saw Bianca more that vertical, uh, vertical backhand attack where Courtney's got that a little bit more horizontal, a bit more jam and a little bit more power being put into her turns. See how Bianca gets that board up and vertical. Once she finds the groove, which she does right here, right there, things just kind of click for her. And then she went to town on the inside, just time after time. Got that little bonus section and finished off nicely. So Bianca Bainda dropped the best score of the heat so far, and it puts her in the lead, Joe. 16 minutes and 45 to go. We're still waiting for one more wave from Courtney to be locked in. But look at this on the backhand. I mean, very agile for a tall surfer. 
And I like the way she attacked this inside bowl, just time after time. She found the groove, her timing was perfect, and rattled off some great surfing through that inside section. Impressive. Bianca Batendog turning in her third eight-point ride of the contest here at Honolulu Bay. She's got to go, though. She is forced to take a look with priority, and now she's going for a big first turn. Another snap off the top for world number two. Conlog winding up for a bowly section, nails it off the roof. Three solid maneuvers. Courtney notes that she could have been on it earlier. as a sneaky little wave. Courtney makes fighting so hard for the paddle battle, giving herself this position to take this wave. Yeah, you can see just a little too deep, but taking that foam, standing up, and now, now she's got this beautiful winding little wave that offers her some scoring potential. She only needs to improve on a 4.83, so some nice solid turns. I love this last turn there, just absolutely bangs it through the lip right there, trying to show some fins out the back. Well, it was interesting, you know, she came into it, obviously the set was the biggest set of the morning, so a little bit deep, and then having to deal with the white water, kind of proning out through it, but knowing that she was the best wave she's seen, so having to go for it, making that decision, Luke Egan just saying what a great decision it was to take that wave, because there could have been one behind it, but there wasn't. So she decides to take the first waves and she sees it, she attacks, gets a couple of setup turns and then belts the inside corner absolutely just through the, the lip, throws the tail, so great surfing from Courtney Conalog and smart decision right there as she decides to take off underneath the lip basically in the white water and have to get out in front of it as we see Courtney take off. Thank you Strider, Courtney Conalog now winding up to go off the lip, just hammers the first section. Floats the second, now a big end section setting up, coils up for a big reverse. Conlog with total control will try to showcase the landing to the panel and they'll make a decision on if she gets credit for that final move. It was explosive, she had variety, it was fun to watch and it was under the priority of Bait and Dog. As a wild card he came back better with a healthier mindset and won a major event at Margaret River. As we check out the heat recap, Bianca Batendog under pressure to win to requalify. Opened up with a 2.0 and then got a gem of a wave. Went vertical multiple times and capitalized on the inside cakey ball and got an eight point ride. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, but Courtney, what a competitor she is. Just kept firing back and uh, this was the wave right behind Bianca. She dropped a 7.27 so kept her in touch. Bianca at that stage took a little bit of a lead and then this wave came through Courtney with priority. She won the paddle battle and geez, wasn't that an important call right there. Courtney taking that wave off Bianca, nothing behind. Courtney dropping a 6.40, taking the lead back. Bianca Batenduck now needing a 5.67 with four minutes remaining. What a heat we've got on our hands. Courtney wants to win this event. Bianca trying to fight for survival on tour next year. Performance is what it's all about when you get older. Now Courtney up, 2.25 to go, looking for just a one big explosive move, a little flyaway kick out, just to keep her rhythm going. A bit of a sleepy start right there, a little click. Now she starts to get moving, gets the nice rotation, gets hung up just a little bit, and now she goes to town through that inside bowl. Wow, it's a tough one, Joe. 5.67. Emma's better off needing an 8. Because <laughs> then you know what you've got to do, you know. it's. Uh, and the score comes in, and it's short of 4.40. Not enough. And Batendog goes down in the quarterfinals, and Courtney Conlog will move on to the semifinals here at the Maui Women's Pro. And Batendog out of the contest, unfortunately, won't be requalifying for the Dream Tour in 2017.